Hello everyone and welcome to the first in the Year 3 and 4 Maths at Home series. I feel like we're about to go on an adventure together. It's going to be great. You're going to have the thrill of making all these new maths discoveries. You'll work really hard. We're going to really enjoy it. The way that the tasks work is there's a little warm-up, so we do a few calculations to get us going. Then we're going to explore a big mathematical idea, but we're going to break it down into small steps. At the end of that, there's a task for you to complete when the video's finished. There's a few different versions that'll really extend your, your thinking. If you need to get some help, then find ways to look for that. You can maybe watch a bit of the video again. You could find someone to ask. That's what the best mathematicians do. There's extra challenge built in as a video goes through. So if that's what you're looking for, it's coming. I hope that you really enjoy this first task. The first one's a beautiful task. Let's go and let's get into it. So here we go, everyone. For the three consecutive numbers challenge. One of the first skills you're going to need here is actually adding different numbers. So we're going to focus on that first. Um, here's some examples for you. 12 plus 9 plus 8. When I'm thinking of calculating there, I'm actually going to change the, the order in which I add the numbers to the order they're presented. I would do 12 plus 8 first because I know that makes 20. I find that an easier calculation to do. Then I would add the 9, 29. Have a look at this example then. 9 plus 19 plus 8. Actually, I'm not going to use any of those numbers. I'm going to play around with them. Instead, I would rather do 10 plus 20 plus 10. Well, 9 is 1 less than 10. 19 is 1 less than 20. And 8 is 2 less than 10. So in total, it's going to be 4 less than that 40. 36. So here's four questions for you to have a go at. And I want you to, you to think about the order that you'll add the numbers up in or how you might play around with those numbers. Pause the video and have a go at those calculations. Alrighty, and if you're ready, let's have a look at them. Now, for me, 4 plus 6 plus 8, I'd actually calculate the numbers in the order they're presented. 4 add 6 is a number bond to 10, add 8 is 18. 4 add 5 add 6, well, I would add the 4 and the 6 together to make a 10, and then add the 5 last, 15. 13, 14, 15, and 16, there, mm, well, the 14 and the 16, they make 30, so I'm going to add those together first. The 15 and the 13, I'll add those two together, that makes 28. 30 plus 28, 58. Now, the way that I go around 28 plus 29 plus 30, I actually prefer to add three lots of 30, and then just take away three, 87. You might have done it differently. Now, I'm about to present one of my very favorite challenges to you. We're gonna work at it in stages. The first stage, Think of three consecutive numbers. A consecutive number is a number, are numbers that go up in steps of one. Now, I set this question to my class and the first thing that they did is they came up with some different possible answers for what three consecutive numbers could be. Some were correct, some were incorrect. Just briefly have a look at them and think which responses are correct and which are incorrect and why. Well, 4 plus 6 plus 8, they're not consecutive numbers because they're the numbers are going up in steps of 2, not 1. 4 and 5 and 6, they are correct. 13, 14, 15 and 16 are consecutive, but it's not three consecutive numbers, it's 4. 28, 29 and 30, well that of course is a correct example. So, on to the next stage in the challenge. Think of three consecutive numbers. You can choose your own, you can make them as large or as small as you like. Choose three consecutive numbers. Now, add your numbers. Pause the video and add those three consecutive numbers that you've chosen. Are we ready to go again? Well, multiply your middle number by three. Hmm, what do you notice? Why does that happen? Can you explain that? Can you try with a, a different set of numbers? Do you find the same thing? Hmm, let's see if we can explore this. Pause the video. What do you notice? How else can you explore this idea? Well, if you're ready, let me show you the example that, that I found. 
The consecutive numbers I chose were 6, 7 and 8. Hmm, they look like this. 6 plus 7 plus 8 and it, it's 21. Now, if I take the middle of those numbers, 7, and I multiply it by 3, I have a 7 3 times, the answer is still 21. How strange. So I could actually do 6 plus 7 plus 8 just by doing 3 lots of 7. Hmm, have a look at that picture. Why is that? What I imagine is this green one here moving across to the red 10 frame. So 6 plus 7 plus 8 effectively becomes 3 lots of 7. Oh, I think this is an amazing pattern to investigate. So let's have a look at some of those tasks. icmaths.com, home lessons, you might already be on this page. If you go underneath the video, click on tasks, year three and four, three consecutive numbers, and there's some beauties for you to choose between. You might have a go at calculate questions A. Um, find the answers. Which of those questions can you actually answer by multiplying? Which multiplication did you do? Similarly, you might choose to have a go at calculate questions B, or maybe you could have a go at the explore task. Consecutive numbers that add to make 18? Well, five, six, and seven do, but then again, so do three, four, five, and six. Question one, which consecutive numbers add up to make 30? There are three possible answers. I wonder how many you'll find. When you've done your work, the answers are on the next page. Should we have a look? So remember, those challenges have been written, so you've got different tasks that you can have, go away and have a go at. Do the thing that's just right for you, so you can take your learning on to that next step. You don't have to do everything, but choose what you think is, is going to be the most useful thing for you to do. I hope that you really enjoy exploring this, this idea. Parents, I would absolutely love to see some of the work. It'd be really great to share it in tomorrow's video. Uh, if you've got any great examples that you could share with me, take a photo of them. I'd love to see them uh, by email or on my social media. See you tomorrow.